guess where I'm off to? You won't guess. Oh, look at you. You're so sweet. I am off to the sheep farm in Seneca, South Carolina. Did you know that you can get milk from a sheep? I have never heard anyone say, do you want some sheep milk? I've never heard of that. I'm so stoked right now. I am standing here today with Debbie Webster and Carly Black, and we are at Whispering Pines Farm. It's a sheep farm. You have goats and cows. We're gonna learn about why we want to choose sheep. And I, I'll be honest, I have never tried sheep milk. I'm not sure if I'd have if I've had sheep cheese before, but I'm excited. All about the more it. expensive stuff is sheep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you'll tell us a little bit about what you've got going on here, this is just all new to me. I started with sheep and goats back in it was 1998 using them for live nativity and a couple years later we, we started raising them uh, raising offspring for pet use and things like that and my young my oldest daughter at the time had some stomach issues and they said well you got goats everyone knows goat milk is good for your stomach so do that and I thought okay we're milking goats now to get milk you have to breed them and then they develop milk as they're pregnant and then after they have their babies and you can milk them milk share or let them take care of the babies however you want to do it but we started doing that and their stomach got better and we've been drinking the goat milk ever since and during the time I was expanding my my herd and my flocks uh, I ran into some people that had dairy sheep and I thought well I love sheep but sheep is the the most mentioned animal in the Bible and I was fascinated by them and when I started making cheese from the sheep milk I had two to three times the yield and I thought well this is amazing and plus the protein is two to three times higher and the taste is fabulous. The fat is a healthy fat. In fact, I had a pharmacist that had kids with autoimmune disease and they were, uh, it was an infant and a toddler and he had all kinds of problems and he was, he, he, he came to me to get goat milk and they were on lots of antibiotics and all kinds of things. And I said, well, you know, you should try my kefir cause it's really good and it helps with the stomach. And it worked like instantly. He said, well, let me try the sheep milk. I said, well, it's a lot more expensive. Anything that's higher in protein is higher in value and higher in a cost. And he said, well, let me try it. Well, he gave them a bottle. They slept through the night for the first time in their little lives. And he said, I don't care what it costs. We're getting it. And they were, they raised up into the higher percentiles and everything. And I can tell you testimony after testimony about people that have tried the sheet milk and just have seen outstanding results. The cow has the creamy top where the sheet milk doesn't. So that's kind of a big deal. The part about the fat, it's easier to digest and it also has the tryptamine that helps people relax. So a lot of older people are drinking it in the evening to help them rest and help them sleep. Better they feel more satisfied and they just feel more relaxed. I want you to meet Carly. I started her in sheep last year and sheep and goats and she is an amazing person and I'm gonna let her introduce herself. She's my committee chair for South Carolina Sheep and she does the nutrition and education on sheep milk because the biggest problem with sheep milk is nobody knows about it. And the other thing is the limited supply. I have a lot of le less background than she does in terms of hands-on with sheep and goats. My background is actually I'm a re registered nurse, labor and delivery. I was able to attend her kidding and lambing session. It was really kind of on a whim that I showed up here with my mom. It was probably the coldest day we could have possibly chosen. I Everything I saw, it spoke language to me about you know, these moms having their babies and them nursing them. And then I really got interested in going further than that about the how easy it was to handle them. Within a few months, we actually took home with us 16 bottle babies, um, about two to three weeks old in age, had no prior experience at all with small remnants. I don't think everyone should jump in with but 16. But she had backup because <laughs> I, I was there for her every minute of the way. And I've learned so much about their nutritional needs, about um, importance of pasture and good forages, because we all know what we put into our body produces good outcome. And so with these animals, their sheep milk, yes, it is so nutritious, but you have to meet their nutritional needs first in order for them to give you the nutrition that they're capable of providing. One thing about dairy, so a lot of people say, I don't want to have dairy because I have digestive issues. 
issues. And that's one thing that's really um, different about sheep milk. So it is really high in fat, really high in vitamins, really high in nutrients. If you looked at the composition of sheep milk, really kind of compared to goat milk and cow milk, you'd be blown away at how many vitamin and nutrients are present. So the fat content that's present in there, it's high fat, but the size of the fat globulars is minuscule. So if you were to consume the sheep milk, digestion has been shown to take 30 to 45 minutes, whereas cow's milk can take four hours, 24 hours, it just kind of depends because it just has a different chemical composition. The other thing is it's super high in vitamin C. You wouldn't believe it. You wouldn't think if I drank a glass of sheep milk, I would have all of this vitamin C. What we don't realize is we need vitamin C to absorb iron, and iron is so key for digestion. So there are so many things that we could talk about and share about how wonderful sheep milk is, beside the fact that it's rich and creamy, slightly sweet, and it yields some of the best cheeses. How many things are really good for you and taste really good? <laughs> So your products, are they all raw? Yeah. So I think there's a stigma about raw milk. And I, I tell people about it all the time because it depends on which age group you're from. Because I think the younger you are, you're like, sure, raw milk is cool. Let's do that. <laughs> and if you're at a certain age, I think back in the... Back in the 60s and 70s, most of the farmers were selling raw milk, and then maybe somebody got sick, and it wasn't the farm kids. And then the government got involved and decided, we're going to pasture it, we're going to get rid of all the bacteria. Well, milk is bacteria. Exactly. <laughs> There's good bacteria right. and bad bacteria. And raw milk, you take a look at these farmers. You know, they're farmers' kids. They're big old strapping kids. They never get <laughs> sick, but they've been able to drink raw milk since the time they were born, That's you know? Right. And, and I think a lot of academia fights me tooth and nail all the way on it. And it's just there. It's everybody's opinion. And everybody's entitled to their opinion. They see all the bad things that can happen. But what are the percentages? Is anyone exactly. even studying what the percentages are on people that are doing raw milk? There's a whole lot more people doing raw milk now than there ever has been. I, I have to just, just state that a lot of people think pasteurization is sterilization. And there's a huge difference. And I think people relate pasteurization to sterilization. But when you have something that you cook to such a high temperature, what is left? Not so much. when we've denatured all of the antibacterial, all of the proteins, you've just cooked every single good health promoting benefit out. Right. Then all you're left with are the sugars. Mm -hmm. I mean, honestly. Yeah. And, and you so, know, you know what it does. It's actually pulling the calcium out of our bones. It is causing a negative response in our body, which is why I go for the raw. I want the enzymes. I want the nutrients. Don't take it away. You know, yeah. God put it there. Yeah. It's amazing. Well, and I think that, you know, we don't we don't think about it this way, but our babies breastfeed at the breast. It's raw milk That's right. that they get. Really, if you look compositionally between mother's breast milk and sheep milk, there are so many similarities. These are some of the products. So I make, I have sheep, goats, and cows in our dairy. We have license for all three. Um, we make uh, the majority of what we do is sheep milk. We do some blended milk. So I have like the double blessing, sharp cheddar. It's goat and cow. I do a Colby melange, which is a pretty cool cheese. It's Colby Jack, and it's melange because we're using sheep and cow. So when you see a Colby Jack, you see it two colors, and it's because one is dyed. The wild about you, I wrote the rind in a paprika and red pepper and pepper jack. I'm making it sheep, goat, and cow now and actually have some blends. Wow. Oh, is this all the cheese? This is my cheddar. Wow. This is some manchego, wow. pepper jack. This is the Colby I was telling you about. That's incredible. So you can see the two colors. So that's the sheep and that's the cow. And this is a the cow milk cheese, and this is the rind that's rubbed down with the paprika. 
you have to try sheet milk. So you Absolutely. Can say Absolutely. How delicious it is. And you can even do a blind taste test. I mean, you'll be able to tell the, the creaminess, but you wouldn't say, oh, that has a quote unquote sheepy flavor or a goaty flavor. Anti cancer, uh, staves off um, type 2 diabetes, um, regenerative properties. It actually has the highest amount of retinol in it of all of the milks. So, why do we need retinol? Collagen production. Collagen is great for cell regeneration. Anti aging. Anti aging. Tastes like really good milk. I wouldn't know. Here we go. It's like, I'm not, I'm not messing anything, but that is delicious. And it's it is much healthier than the stuff I drink. So, 100% <laughs> recommended, for sure. Let's go look at the little guys and okay. uh, check it out. We keep the pastures no higher than six inches. And we have horses, and the horses are riding lawnmowers. And they'll take it down if it gets too high. Earlier this year, we had rain almost every day, so the pastures were growing up rapidly. And the small ruminants, when I say small ruminants, I mean sheep and goats, were not able to keep it down to a reasonable length. When the grass gets too cold, too long, it, the grass is it's not tender anymore. It's tough, and then they can't utilize that. So you got to cut it to where it's a tender grass and it stays in that in that vegetative state, not in the reproductive state. These are some of our weanlings. So weanlings means they're off of milk. They're learning to be grown ups. They are precious. Can I pet sure. them? Hi, little guys. Hello. Oh my goodness, you are so cute. Those are Nubian goats. Nubian. Oh. They are characterized by these long, floppy ears. Hi, baby. Yeah. <laughs> they think it's feeding time. <laughs> oh, look at you. You're so sweet. <laughs> they are really long. Goodness. You know, God is so amazing. How, oh, I mean, look, look at, at this approach. pattern. You mm -hmm. know, on how unique each one of them are. Yes, look at your teeth. They're so clean. Come here, baby. Come on. Let's Come go. up here. Come Let's on. Go. Come on. I didn't know they were friends. Oh, you are so sweet. Yes, you are. <laughs> you are so sweet. She's a sweetie there, isn't she? Yes. I wanted to wrap up from coming back from the farm and I had so much fun. I want to thank Debbie again for allowing me the privilege to come out and try some of these products and get to hear some of the amazing benefits that sheep milk has to offer. This morning I used the sheep milk in my coffee as my creamer and I absolutely loved it. It is so delicious and creamy. And then I brought home this cute little container which is kefir and I will put this in my smoothies and like my husband said if for no other the reason you have to buy it for the cute little container. Kefir is top-notch probiotics. Great source of protein. Wonderful thing for you to put in your smoothies and trumps any protein powder out there. Right now I am making a little uh, breakfast and I'm making a fruit bowl and I'm going to use some of the yogurt in it today. I have some sliced bananas just adding a variety of berries for those wonderful antioxidants. This is the cutest name. Totally unique. You know a baby sheep is a you. So cute. Wow there's a little bit of whey right there and whey is very high in protein so I just Stir that bad boy in because it's really good for your your body. I'm gonna put a little scoop on there. Well, I'm gonna put a few scoops because I want the protein and the creaminess and the amazingness. Oh, one more thing. Topping it with a drizzle of honey because this yogurt is not flavored unflavored and then I get to control the ingredients and I get to put my healthy honey on there oh one more thing before I try this I need a clean spoon here it is this is white chocolate cheesecake cheese spread 
goat cheese, which I will find another use for this, but I wanted to just try it straight up. That is so delicious. It tastes like cheesecake. I'm gonna go and enjoy this bowl, but in the meantime, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. If you would please like, subscribe, hit that bell for more. And I wanna thank you for taking the farm tour with me. Have you guys been to a sheep farm? Have you ever tried sheep milk? This was the first time for me, but I am certainly glad I did. You guys have a great day. sheep meat are we <laughs> I wouldn't eat goat meat um do they eat goat meat I'm hoping in this video I don't say goat because I keep thinking goats but they're sheep but she does they sell sheep wool. That look like goats <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna find out come along with us because we're not sure <laughs>